I noticed that Audrey Roloff often talks about how they want to expand their family. Audrey stated on social media about the possibility of having more children. We've never put a number on it, but we don't feel like we're done. However, this is the first time she has openly stated that one of her future children may suffer from dwarfism. From how I've always understood it, there are different types of dwarfism, she said. Some are dominant genes and some are recessive. Audrey explained that Jeremy's mother Amy Roloff and twin brother Zach Roloff have a dominant gene, which explains why neither her son nor her daughter are little people. If we have a baby with their type of dwarfism, it'd be a random genetic mutation because neither of us carries the gene since it's dominant, Audrey explained of herself and Jeremy. Basically, we have the same chance as anyone else to have a child with that type of dwarfism. I assume there's another baby on the way, it's possible that shortly. Whoa, y'all can calm down, I'm not pregnant, just taking a prenatal to prepare my body in advance, Audrey wrote and added even more candid details. I've never been consistently taking it before getting pregnant, so trying to get ahead of it this time. Jeremy and Audrey are trying for their fourth child after all. During a Q&A on her Instagram stories, Audrey posted a photo of the additions and all the speculation became clear. Audrey also said she takes beef liver, electrolyte minerals, vitamin C and just started taking Inspiracel and Prenatal. Last year Audrey and Jeremy bought a renovated farm. They admitted that they had hoped to own a farm in Oregon, but Matt Roloff never gave them a fair chance. Audrey explained whether she and her husband had considered buying the farm. We tried to back in May of 2020. We shared what we felt comfortable sharing about that in a podcast episode. Jerry and I hoped to take over his parents' farm or a portion of it since he was a child. It was something he was led to believe was possible. He made it very known to his family and publicly on TV. It became a mutual dream when we got married, and we started working toward it. Audrey once again captured the point that her and Jeremy's desire to own the farm was no secret and they talked about it publicly during their time on the show Little People Big World. Noting that she and Jeremy had the intention of saving the farm, Audrey added, We realized that Jer's family was not actually as aligned in the progression toward us acquiring it as we thought they were. Audrey went on to say that it was incredibly difficult for them to part with the farm, explaining that they fell in love there, got married, helped run the business. We really did think we'd raise our kids there. Like I said, it was the death of a dream. Audrey tried to end on a positive note, though. The Lord has taught us so much through this death of a dream, as we refer to it. It's brought an opportunity for so much growth, along with new dreams and a new vision for the future that we are very excited about. Amen. I'll try to end on a positive note too. Thanks for watching, my dear viewers. Would you be so kind to subscribe? I'll be very grateful. Thanks. Bye.